Hello everyone and welcome back to another making food video, this time featuring my dad. I wanted to learn how to make pickles and several people, including him, wanted more cooking videos, so here we are, both getting what we want. But of course, before we start anything, it's time to... Wash your hands, do 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 do, wash your hands, do 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 do, wash your hands, do 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 do, wash your hands! Do -do 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 -do, wash your hands. So, today my dad's going to be helping me show you how to make garlic dill pickles. Of course, there are ways to change the recipe to make sweet pickles or bread and butter pickles, but I'm not about that. So we're sticking with the classic dill today. One of the main things you're going to need for this recipe is a container for your beautiful refrigerator creation. We use these two plastic containers, um, but this recipe you could easily use like some glass mason jars or even an old pickle jar to like recycle. The recipe we used calls for two one quart jars, which is what we're going to use. Uh, the second most important thing is obviously cucumbers. Ours, as well as the dill, are from the garden we have out back, so we have a lot. We also happen to have a lot of tomatoes, which my mom is showing us right here. That one's ginormous. Uh, this recipe also calls for distilled white vinegar, kosher salt, sugar, cold water, coriander seeds, garlic, mustard seed, red pepper flakes, and dill sprigs. The first step is to make the brine, especially if you're using plastic containers because you're gonna want it to sit out and be cooled down. If you put hot brine in a plastic container, it's gonna mess up the plastic and you're not gonna have a good time. Brine is the liquid in the jar that's gonna transform our cucumbers into pickles. Get out a small saucepan and into it goes one and a quarter cups of white vinegar. So I forgot this in my earlier recording, but you're also gonna need two tablespoons of sugar and three tablespoons of kosher salt over high heat. The object is to dissolve all the salt, not necessarily to bring the vinegar to a boil. When all your salt granules are dissolved, carefully transfer the contents of your saucepan to a bowl and add two cups of cold water. Set aside or put in the refrigerator to cool down. Next comes the fun part. Get a bunch of cucumbers out. Ours were pretty small, so we got a whole lot. The recipe we used recommends about one to two pounds of cucumbers. You can just kind of eyeball it, it's up to you. Uh, these you're going to cut in quarters so you get a nice spear shape. If you want, you could also do the round cut for these, it doesn't really matter. Make sure you've also peeled six large garlic cloves. We used a bit more to enhance the garlic taste of the pickles, uh, and if you don't like garlic, you can use less. Uh, pretty much all of what's going into the jar as far as spices and herbs and stuff can all be adjusted according to your taste. So if you add or subtract ingredients, uh, don't worry about it. Get your vessel of choice and start layering your beautiful cucumber slices, making sure to spread garlic evenly throughout the vessel. Add in your dill sprigs. These could be as small or as large as you want, but breaking them into smaller pieces after rinsing can allow for more space in your container. In all, you want to use about 16 large sprigs. Divide between your containers two tablespoons of coriander seeds, one teaspoon of mustard seed, and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper. If possible, add more layers of cucumber and garlic in between your dill and spices to allow for maximum flavor spread. Or try to put all that stuff in the middle of your cucumber pile so they all get a little taste of the action. Once we have all the herbs and spices in the containers, it's time for the brine. For some reason, my camera didn't properly film this part, um, but basically you want to just carefully, carefully ladle the brine into the jars, making sure to divide it evenly between them. And if there's still a little bit of cucumber that's uncovered by the brine, make sure to fill the containers with cold water until all the cucumbers are covered. And that's it. You made pickles. Well, uh, kind of. You're gonna want to put a lid on this and let it sit in your fridge for at least a day. In my opinion, the longer it sits, the better the flavor is, and these can last in your fridge for up to a month. A fairly simple recipe, it doesn't require that much actual cooking, so it's pretty hard to mess this up. It's also become a choice favorite of myself and my family. Trust me on this. Once you make these, you are never going to look at store-bought pickles the same way ever again. 